Hello, it's Reverend Phil here. Wherever you are, whether you're watching this in school or at home or somewhere else, I hope that you're doing okay. Why don't you get yourself comfortable, have a little stretch up to the sky, out to the side. And let's think about our breathing for a moment. We'll take a deep breath in and out. And let's relax. I've lit a candle. You can do too, if it's safe for you to do so. I wonder what the last week has been like for you. This weekend, it was really sunny. Did you manage to get outside? Maybe you went to the park or played in the garden or perhaps went for a walk? I'm recording this on Monday afternoon and outside it's a bit grey and a bit cold and it was trying to rain earlier. But even on a grey day, there are still signs that spring is on its way. I wonder if you have seen any flowers growing in the garden or perhaps on your way to school or when you've been out for a walk. I wonder if you've heard the birds singing in the trees. Our prayer today helps us thank God for some of these things. Dear God, thank you for the sun that shines and helps the plants to grow. Thank you for the rain that falls and causes streams to flow. Thank you for the tiny buds on trees where birds do sing. Thank you for the new green shoots, the signs of hope and spring. Amen. Over the last few weeks in these collective worship videos, we've heard lots of Bible verses, all from the book of Psalms, this book of songs and poems in the Bible. We've heard about God knowing all about us and loving us. We've heard about God being our light. We've heard about God's love being as high as the sky. And about God holding us safe like a mummy bird looking after her baby chicks. And today, a few verses which I think are really good for this time of year, as spring. It's from Psalm 104. Birds build their nests and sing in the trees. From the sky you send rain on the hills and water the earth. God, you let the earth produce grass for cows and plants for our food. Wine to cheer us up and olive oil for our skin, and grain for our health. In the rest of this psalm, this poem, it also talks about the mountains and the hills and the streams and the rivers, lions and donkeys and wild animals. I wonder whether there's a part of these verses, a part of this psalm that you like the most. I wonder if there is something in our world in all of God's creation, that you would want to say thank you to God for. I wonder if you've got a favourite animal. Mine would be a monkey. If you'd like to, you could draw a picture or maybe write your own words, your own poem perhaps, thanking God for the world around us. At church, over the next few weeks, we're going to be collecting different people's pictures and words on pieces of paper. The more colourful, the better. And together, we're going to create our own psalm, our own poem, telling God how we feel, whether we're happy or sad. Telling God what we're thankful for, whether it's birds or flowers or monkeys. And then in a few weeks' time, when more people can use the church building again, 
There'll be some great pictures and words for people to look at and read. And we'd love it if you could join in too. I'm going to finish by praying that prayer again and you can join in too. Dear God, thank you for the sun that shines and helps the plants to grow. Thank you for the rain that falls and causes streams to flow. Thank you for the tiny buds on trees where birds do sing. Thank you for the new green shoots, the signs of hope and spring. Amen. Take care. See you soon. God bless. Bye.